what's going on guys this is Matt uh, here at Dan Arado. Um, today I wanted to do a little video take a little time to show you guys uh, some basics uh, just a basic introduction of the FiTech EFI system um, when plugged into your laptop computer uh, so here we've got the FiTech EFI ProCal um, just a, a habit that I have uh, run as administrator um, yes Mostly you guys are going to find because uh, sometimes there's some communication issues. Uh, I haven't gotten quite to the bottom of all of it just yet, but I can tell you that, uh, you know, a little tip running as an administrator always helps. Making sure your drivers are installed correctly always helps. Um, all those sorts of uh, computer things. Now, this is just a basic overview of the system and what happens when you pull up the system. Um, I don't have it, you know, plugged into a car or anything right now, but I will be doing that in future videos. <clears throat> uh, also showing you guys some other stuff in future videos. Um, so as you can see, you know, as we open it up, there's some basic stuff um, that, that comes up. Basic settings, fan and AC, AFR control, spark map, blah, blah, blah. You've got, uh, you've got a, a gauge uh, cluster down here. The gauge cluster will show you different things, you know, uh, bank uh, one, bank two AFRs, if you have both banks hooked up, target AFR, mile per hour, if you have uh, a vehicle speed sensor hooked up, um, engine coolant temperature, uh, RPM, uh, map, this is an important one, battery voltage, throttle position sensor, um, and other like control there. As you can see, these are all, you can move these all around however you want. So if you get to a point where you're like, oh, well, I want to set it up some kind of way so that I can look at, you know, however you want to look at it, whatever, you can do that. Or you don't have to look at it at all. Um, you can go ahead and undo the dash right up top there where it says dash and make it go away and make it reappear. So when you get into the system, generally everything that you need to do is going to be done with the handheld controller. Um, but there's just, a, you know, just looking at some different things and, and making some adjustments. The big thing is that uh, what's going to happen is if you learn the data, um, if you have it set up to continuously relearn data and continuously reset, any changes that you make in here are, are not really going to, uh, to matter as far as, you know, fueling and stuff like that. Um, the guys at Fitech, if you call Fitech, they are not super, super inclined to help you um, as far as this system goes, mostly because uh, they don't want people in here messing with it. That's what it comes down to. That's the big deal. They don't want people in here messing with the stuff, playing with stuff, trying to learn how to tune a car. Um, you know, that's not what tech support is there for. They're not there to teach you how to tune a car. So they don't want you playing with these certain things. So what you'll see here is um, in basic settings, we'll pull up basic settings, comes up uh, engine, uh, cubic inch, cam, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you click any one of these, it's going to pull up the, the full deal here. Now, this is what's just in it right now. Um, a lot of these can be set and reset within the handheld controller itself. Um, some of these cannot, some of these you don't even know exist, which is uh, something I'm going to do another video on about map sensor scaling um, to help you guys out in the future. Uh, it's a problem that I had was map sensor scaling and um, had to kind of figure out the, the issue on my own. So you can see these are all the basic setups, you know, cam, one through four, rev limit, idle speed, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if this is what was in my car or what, um, but that's all there. Dun, 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 dun. There's some options. Um, there, there's a lot of controls that can be had with the uh, the Fitech LS system. Um, that's the system that I use, the seven zero zero five zero, I believe is what it is, um, or the seven zero zero five one with the trans control. What you'll notice is that uh, I think there is some transmission stuff in here, but we are not. You know, I'm not using the transmission controller. I use uh, a manual valve body three fifty or four hundred, so I never end up. Uh, doing that, but figured for guys looking into a Fitech system and wanting to know, can you do more than what the Fitech is telling you? Uh, you absolutely can. There, there are ways to do it in here, and I'm I'm working on a video series right now, kind of run you guys through it and everything. Um, 
you know, you'll notice that a lot of this stuff comes up very weird, you know, 1DX, blah, blah, blah. A lot of it is just clicking around, figuring out what it is you're trying to do. Um, you know, you'll see fan on tab, and then here's another one. You know, you pull it up, it'll bring up this big screen right here, and bam, you've got options to read it from the ECU, send it to the ECU, etc., etc. Uh, fan on temperature. And this is if you're using it to, uh, you know, go ahead and control <clears throat> your fan, your cooling fan. If you've got an electronic fan and you're using the Fitex system to do that. Um, Here's all your controls for that. So that is a possibility as well. Let's go back up. AFR control, um, idle AFR target, Linus wide open throttle, max AFR, uh, spark to wide open throttle position, throttle position sensor, bam. So there's some different settings in here. Cam one through four, AFR target, um, a lot of this stuff you're not really going to have to mess with. There's going to be some specific stuff, but just this video's purpose is just to show you the availability of options that are in the uh, the Fitex system. Uh, spark map. <clears throat> um, here's some important ones. Engine coolant temperature uh, and uh, intake air temperature. Boom, boom, boom. So as you can see uh, here, the way this one is set up at... 224 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll point pull 0.4 degrees of timing. Um, intake air temperature at 219 degrees of intake air temperature, pull 1.1 degrees of timing there. So those are some important ones. Um, I'm going to be doing some stuff later on where I mess with this a little bit and see if I can uh, see if I can go ahead and ground out one of these sensors to use them for nitrous control, which would be, you know, incredibly do not do that, do at your own risk, etc. But, I, you know, old HP tuners trick of grounding out the sensor and then using that table to pull your timing for nitrous. I may try to do that on this. Um, bam, there's spark, big table. So there you've got an idea. Um, because this is a uh, system that runs off the, the map, the manifold absolute pressure sensor and not a mass airflow sensor, um, everything here is listed in, in MAP and KPA, so um, anything naturally aspirated, you're going to be between 20 and 100. Anything boosted is when you will get over uh, 100. That's important when talking about MAP sensor and MAP sensor scaling. I will show you guys in another video how to troubleshoot some of that stuff and figure that out as well. Um, but here you can see the, the table, bam. Uh, you can even pull up a 3D view if you want. has that availability, has that option. Um, <clears throat> let's close up spark map, uh, idle control, um, you know, as you can see, warm idle speed, uh, bu 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 fan steps, IC steps, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of this stuff and this is all stuff you can play with if you need to. Um, mainly a lot of folks have the question of I'm using this system for an LS, uh, you know, engine can I do some more advanced features than what is just given to me? Um, and I think a lot of this stuff is also in the handheld controller as well. So there's a lot of stuff that carries over both ways. You know, you'll see it in the computer and on the handheld controller as well. Um, fuel table, uh, as you can see, the fuel tables are uh, differentiated by which cam setting you have in there. So mild one, wild being four is what they call it. So if you have, you know, the, the cam setting at two, <clears throat> You guys can check this out here. Um, obviously, we've got map, and we've got RPM, and there's fueling in there. You can 3D view the fueling as well. Two-finger, you know, action on the keyboard to drag it around, whatever. That's there as well. Um, do, 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 do. Volumetric efficiency. That's how this whole system runs on volumetric efficiency. Uh cold uh, enrichments that stuff is here as well fuel closed loop transients um excel pump and you know in relation to temperature fast excel fast decay tip out um all that is there as well let's see um rpm limiter defco you guys see all that Like I said, this is just trying to give a, a big uh, overview of the system that has here. Uh, so that way you can, you know, if you guys were looking at purchasing it, 
you know, can I purchase it? What will I get with the online system? Here's just a brief rundown of everything that is there. <clears throat> um, injector flow rate per hour. Got that in the injector section. Knock control. Uh, there's a whole section on knock control. So if you're using knock sensors, bam, that's all there. Uh, transmission, 4L60 and 4L80E. Uh, as you guys know, the... I believe it's the 7000 or the 70051 is the one that has the trans control it controls four series transmissions which is 4L60, 4L65, 4L80 um, those anything that begins with the 4L dun, 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 torque converter torque converter lockup all there gear tire uh, rear gear ratio tire diameter in inches um, all vehicle speed stuff and transmission stuff that's important when doing transmission when you're having computer uh, control of transmission you know transmission settings calibration learn data um, here you can also live which I can't do because I'm not plugged into it but you can live connect um, when you have it plugged into the vehicle and everything's plugged in and then you'll start seeing your your dash down here to start displaying some data um, there is uh, logging options as well, so you can data log. Um, I don't have any log files there for us to open up to, to talk about. But that gives you guys a brief, brief uh, basic rundown of the Phytech ProCal software on the computer, um, which is 110% not necessary if you want to just buy the Phytech LS controller, plug it all in, and do it from the handheld controller. But gives guys who are thinking about doing some other things on a budget hey do i have the option to do some other things yes you do uh one of the big downfalls that i see here is that there um there are no programmable inputs uh or outputs so if you want to use other electronics um whatever they may be you know like boost control or something like that there's no programmable uh inputs or you know outputs uh, anything into this box what you get is what you get so anything else needs to be external um, so that's, that's a downfall that I see of it. Um, but as you guys can see here, that is the basic rundown of the Phytech ProCal software for the, uh, LS engine. Thank you guys very much.